Hi everybody, hope you're enjoying the day. Um, since I did such a great job of botching, oh, that one problem on the review sheet, I can't remember which one it is, but you know which one it is. The one with the car or something was rolling down the hill. I thought we'd do a couple more um, so that we didn't have to use a bunch of review time in class to do that. So I've written a couple up here. Um, so we've got a slender rider, and they're on a, obviously they're on a hill. So here's the hill. It has a 24 degree incline. Here's the sled rider sitting there ready to go down the hill. Their force, gravitational force, pulling them straight down is 175 pounds. But we want to stop them from sliding. So we want to. They want to go this way. This is this is what they want to do. Um, what nature wants them to do. We want to know what force is necessary to counteract that. So we're going to find this component right here, this little piece right here, because whatever that is, that will be the part that will counteract their pull down the hill. So looking at the triangles um, that we have built here, that's a perpendicular because we're making what's called the projection of the vector. It's on the um, hypotenuse of the hypotenuse of the big triangle. So we're going to call that X, that little piece right there, that's what I'm looking for. And um, I know in the big right triangle, the whole picture, if that's 24, this one's got to be 66. So if I have, look at my little right triangle now, I also know that little angle right there, it happens to match that one. These two angles are what, or triangles are what we call similar triangles. Um, but I can go ahead and use the 66 and say cosine 66 equals x over 175. Because in this right triangle, the little one, 175 is the hypotenuse. And for 66, um, this is the adjacent side right here. So on my calculator, type it in. Uh, 175 cosine 66, make sure I'm in degrees, and the answer is 71.18 pounds. So we would have to pull with 71 pounds of force to hold them stable. Not pulling them, not, not moving them, just to hold them at the top of the hill so they didn't slide down. Okay, what about this? Find the force required to keep a car. So now we've got a car parked on a hill. And it's a 16 degree incline this time. Here's the car parked on the hill. Obviously, nature's pulling him straight down with a force of 3,000 pounds gravity. Um, and we don't want him to roll down the hill. So pretend you're standing up here. You're gonna pull him. What force is gonna be caught? for you to hold him in place. Well, whatever force you pull back here to hold him in place is going to have to counteract this force right here, which is him pulling down the hill. So with that 16, um, this one's going to be what? 74? Gosh, I hope I'm adding right. Um, and we want to find this right here. So we can do the same thing we did last time. Cosine 74 equals adjacent over hypotenuse because in the little triangle, get all that for a minute, in the little triangle, this is the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. So the force that's going to be required is 3,000 cosine 74. So 826.91 pounds of force are going to be required to hold that car in place. So hopefully he's got a good parking brake. All right, hope that straightens that out for you. Hope you're having a great day.